Hello everybody. Welcome to episode 8 of Let's Play Under Rail Blind. I'm your host Game God Fluent. And uh, in this episode, we're going to head to the agronomy section and try to get information for our next quest. I guess some of these components be sold. I know someone's around is searching for blueprints. Um, let's look around. I think Arlene will buy our hearts. Um, Let's try Pascal. Won't buy the adrenal glands. Somebody buys the hearts though. Not you. Man, this backup mouse is like not very good. Let's head to agronomy. Well, first, let's see who barters here. Engineering and cyber labs. Who barters anybody? Let's see Ezra. My, men my soon to be mentor. You take the healthy animal hearts. Or the adrenal glands. Alright. Do agronomy. I think. Who's in here again? Quentin. Yes, he'll take the adrenal glands happily. And the hearts. Give us 60 credits! Oh, he doesn't take the hearts. It was 45 credits for the adrenal glands. Um, what about the blueprint for the pistol? Nice. And the blueprint for leather armor. He doesn't want that one. Okay, I just used it. Five. We can throw acid vials. Okay. Oh, will he pay for them? Well, we should hang on to the mine shrooms for now. Because they seem pretty impressive. Big Brat, what's up? What can I do you for? 
I've been tasked with helping you with the hopper roundup. Very good. So, say, you ever catch the hopper? I don't even know what that is. Look over there in the pen. Those are cave hoppers. Hoppers for short. They are speedy little bastards, let me tell you. Shooting one is hard, but catching it alive is even harder. They are usually found near the lakes because that's where their favorite food grows, the lake mushroom. Anyway, here's what you need to do to capture some hoppers. First, go to the storage room. It's the room with two entrances just across the hallway, and get some dog crates. You'll need them to hold your quarry. Getting them inside won't be easy, though. As soon as they sense you're coming, they'll scurry off and crawl through the crevices in the cave wall. So what you need to do is immobilize them before they can run away, either with hopper traps, which, unlike bear traps, will ensnare them without snapping most of their bones in half, or with throwing nets. Also, if you can handle a crossbow, you could try shooting it with tranquilizing bolts. A single shot will drop a hopper quickly, quickly and it will allow you to capture it easily. Now, you'll find all these in the storage room, and you're free to take as many as you need. But if you need more than what's in the storage room, then, well, I can only sell it to you. Your hunting ground is the Mushroom Cove. Head south from the crossroad watch until you reach a waterfall. Go past the waterfall and take the western tunnel, in a cave after it. Now, you'll come across a big cavern with a lake. That's the cove. I'll need three healthy, healthy specimens. Good luck. Alright, head south until you reach a waterfall. Go past the waterfall and turn the western tunnel in a cave. Oh, by the way, I also sent a young man called Newton to catch some hoppers. It's been a while. See if you can find him and learn what's taking him so long. Why do you need more hoppers? Looks like you got plenty back there. Inbreeding makes hoppers susceptible to disease. It is necessary to freshen up the gene pool with new specimens as often as possible. What is the mushroom cone? It's a place where a couple of streams and rivers join to form a cove. From there, the water flows further down as Saliridas River, which is joined by other streams and rivers and becomes more and more treacherous as it journeys on. Presumably, it leads straight down into deep caverns and ends in a magnificent waterfall, but I'm not sure I believe that. Who's Newton? Well, he's just like you, a newcomer who needs to learn the basics of what it takes for the station to operate. I've sent him to catch hoppers. He should have been back by now, though. I hope he hasn't gotten himself into some sort of trouble. So please, look for him while you're there. I'll get right on it. Alright, the storage room should be here. Uh, we already took everything. I sold my tranquilizing bolts and stuff. So we're just going to have to catch him with throwing nets. Here we go. Okay, please. All right, let's see how this goes. South from Watch Gate, from the Watch Crossroad Watch, be this direction. Here though. Okay. This way. Trying to scrap some rubber balls. I don't know how long I'm going to be taking that stuff for. Start a mixture. Using gas grenades, soft foam padding, gasoline, and coal. Like, I just don't know. Fabric scraps, rubber sole, rubber balls, 5mm case, electronic scraps. Let's see. South, it turns up here. Nothing. 
surprised there's no enemies in this room. Looking for a waterfall. Bull cricket. There's a waterfall. Bull cricket. Oh no. These things are kind of expensive to shoot. I can just stab him. They did say they're better to just uh, hit with a crowbar, crowbar or something. More crooked corpse. Insectoid salivarium. <clears throat> Insectoid saliva can be extracted from this organ to be used for medical purposes. No, don't go down there. Signpost, south, junkyard. Here's where we're supposed to turn west. up this direction into a cave. Cases, scraps, scraps, empty shells. dark. Use that somewhat to my advantage. I still don't have any stealth. Um, is this the cove? Can't see anything, Captain. Junkyard, North South Gate Station, East Camp Hathor. Am I in the cove? I need to put on these dog crates. I don't have a crossbow anymore. Hmm. I don't reckon I'm in the right spot. Sentry. Oh, who goes there? Cyrus, the new guy. He nods and takes his finger off the trigger. Yeah, I recognize you now. What are you doing out here? I've been instructed to round up some hoppers from the Mushroom Cove. Am I heading the right way? Yes, yes you are. It's just beyond this passage. Be careful, though, as there are side beetles in the Cove area. Do you happen to see a young man go into Mushroom Cove? Newton's the name. Yes, he went through here recently. I'd say about two hours ago or so. He said he was going to catch some cave hoppers. He hasn't returned yet, though. By the way, I somehow got the impression that Mushroom Cove was much closer to Southgate Station. 
You know, lots of people have been telling me that recently. Newcomers like you. No idea why, though. It's not like the cove has moved or anything like that. He shrugs his shoulders. Strange. You mentioned psi beetles. Yeah, psi beetles. Nasty buggers. Especially if they're in a group, because that's when they start slinging powerful psionics at you. You know, if you haven't already, talk to old Jonas at the crossroads. He knows a lot about the creatures lurking in these caves and could give you some important tips. Who knows, it might save your life. In any case, stick to the eastern bank and you should be safe. Nasty buggers. What do you know about that scavenger from Mushroom Cove? Not much, to tell you the truth. Gerald, guard, found him dying in the cove. It all happened before my shift. And where can I find this Gerald? He's probably sleeping. Yeah, long shift. But I think Malcolm was on duty at the time. He nods. Better ask him for more info on your way back. I will. Thanks for the warning. He nods. Good, good hunting. Okay, so stick to the eastern bank and I should be fine. Cave Hopper capture. Oh, I hit the button too late. Gotta get them in turn based mode. Come to Papa. Cave Hopper capture. Three cave hoppers. Locked and loaded. Now I'm looking for Newton. Stick to the eastern bank, he says. Larger. Middle-aged man, tall and wide shoulders, stands by the coast smoking a cigar and observing the calm water. As you come near, he turns around. He eyes you for a moment, maintaining an indifferent expression, and then speaks to you in a low, raspy voice. Don't stomp around. You're scaring the fish away. You're that guy from that was running Tanner's test, right? Cyrus, was it? I guess you got admitted. Yeah, and who are you? The indifferent expression persists. I'd tell you that, but then I'd have to kill you. Just call me Mordre. In that case, Mordre will do. Good. What is this place? It's called Mushroom Cove, but it's basically a big lake where all these little streams converge and form the Celeritas River. It then runs all the way down to the very bottom of the deep caverns. So how's the fishing going? Could be better. I was hoping to catch some deep eels, but I forgot to bring meat, and the eels don't care for worms much. Use those only if you want to drown them. Tell me more about deep eels. There are many kinds of deep eels. Most are delicious and very easy to cook and eat. The blue eel is everyone's favorite, including me. The 
The further you go down the Celeritas, however, the more dangerous eels you'll find. It's the very nature of this world of ours. The deeper you go, the more dangerous it becomes. Um, what kind of meat do you need? Any meat will do, but raw red meat works best. I could hunt down a hopper, but I cannot leave the rods unattended. I'll get you some meat. That would be great. I can hunt down a hopper. Put a knife on. Stay down here. Okay. Not initiate turn base common again manually so soon. Why can't I stab it? Oh, one attack. Stabbing has a 10% chance, shooting has an 80% chance. Got me one. Cave hopper meat. Easy peasy. Oh, they come and they eat the mushrooms. What's happening here? I brought you some meat for the eels. Good, do you want to trade it? What can you offer? How about a health hippo? Hypo. Make it two and you have a deal. You drive a hard bargain, but very well. Now to catch some eels. I have more questions, actually. Ask. It's a nice cigar you have there. Thanks. Where did you get them? It must have cost a lot. I have ways, and the cost is not as much as you think. He draws the smoke and his expression improves. I enjoy smoking here. No one to complain, no one to ask for a cigar. Got a spare cigar? No. He draws another smoke. Stopping by. I know we're supposed to say on the eastern bank we could go further further south along the eastern bank, but I'm also looking for Newland. I don't know if he went up here. Got hit by a Psy Beetle. Huh. Alright, let's continue this way. Got plenty of health hypos. We're overall pretty decked. I hope that I have to start using these traps and stuff because it's like maybe on hard you have to use traps. I don't know if you have to do it on normal. Let's see. It's not sticking to the eastern bank. Oh, there's the island I was transported to. It's still there. Interesting. Um, rubber balls and scraps. Yeah, whatever. A young Azure day. How do I get that mine shroom? Go that way. I don't know what Azure Day is. Okay, you're attacking me. You must die. Oh, critical hit. I'm gonna get some melee. Um component, Psy Beetle Carapace. Oh, that was a young Psy Beetle. Carapace of Psy Beetle is not only tough, but also acts as an amplifier of psionic abilities. Cool. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, there's a real Psy Beetle.
like the real deal. Do we want beef with it? I don't think a trap would work because it's, it doesn't like to be close up in combat. It likes to maintain its distance. I'm lightly encumbered. You are carrying too much and are suffering movement speed, movement points, and possibly even action point penalties. Uh, two of them. Probably where Newton is. I'll check once more for Newton in the Western Passage. Can't forget my aim shot. Do that once every three turns. Guarantees critical. Yeah, let's come up this way. I mean, we've got the hoppers. I'm moving pretty slow. Gotta get point blank with these guys. Of action points. Neural overload. Huh. Oh boy. Yeah, these ones actually can hurt you. Alright, let's use aim shot, guarantees a critical. Oh, it should be dead. Can I use a bandage? Nope. But I can move right in its face. Now I can't use a bandage, but... Ten percent chance to stab it, so let's just shoot it. Got me a psi beetle. Psi beetle care pace. Now we need the health pipe up. Hmm. <laughs> Wasn't too bad, but I can see how two of them would be. Death wish. North Junkyard. East Southgate Station. Huh. There's a door. Chunk Pile. 
cases. I don't know, I'm getting very encumbered. I'm not finding anyone who can buy the stuff. Very slow. Periscope part. It's an old rusty periscope part. Proof that submarines at deep once sailed and perhaps still sailed the waters of Underground. Wow, that's kind of. Ooh, I got two points for that. That's kind of creepy, isn't it? Um. Submarines in the waters. Locker, desaturated cyan inhaler. Saw something move around in there to the south. Hmm. Warehouse inventory list. Partially readable, but probably very outdated inventory list. EMP mine case. Alright, we leveled up. I hear something. Shotgun combo, reinforced fabric, ballistic. Whatever. Young as we did. going to take that much AP so I can move here and shoot out of ammo. Beautiful. for me. Should have aim shot it. I might as well take my hex at it. Hmm. Aim shot. This thing dies. No. So how about oh, I? Yeah, my well. Bandage? No. Oh, no.
Okay, we can do this. We can certainly do this. Hypo. Oh no. Can I use a Q? Yes, I can attempt to throw a net over it. Tangled, nice. still do neural overload. Can I use a health hypo now? No. Cooldown is three turns. I can't use it. Bandages can't be used in combat period. Okay, I can do an aim shot though. Come on. Got it. Wow. Cooldown in seconds. Uh, that was pretty cool. Quick save. Cool that I fought them one at a time, really. It's a quick solitarium. I should be able to sell these. I mean, they're freaking beetles, side beetles. Overloaded though. Huh. Gas mask headwear provides limited biohazard protection by preventing the inhalant in the inhalation of toxic gases. Perception decreased by two, detection decreased by fifty percent. Not too durable. Bio 35%. That's a good find. We're gonna have to stuff some items in these lockers. Lock picking. Fifteen nine millimeter rounds, a nine millimeter hammer, a lock pick, and electronic scraps. Old diver's helmet, old and rusty diver's helmet doesn't look fit for purpose anymore. Okay, before I take those, I want to quick save and make sure it's gonna. It's not gonna be lost when I take it. Yep, 2 XP, so let me do my level up and make sure that I'm 2 XP up. Okay, we get a point to put in here. Dodge evasion initiative and movement points allows the character to move more quietly, increasing stealth performance. Represents ability to discern objects from far away as well as to notice hidden things in their vicinity. Helps the character to use ranged weapons more effectively as well as detecting an object's passages and creatures. Let's get a point of will. Or um, our thought control. Thought control is fine, it's 31. See what we can do here. The Forty points to spend. Let's get this up. Okay, I can take that up a lot. Let's get that twenty. Let's get mercantile. 32. Get thought control to 35. We can use both of those abilities now with that, I believe. How much higher can we raise that? 37. Let's get traps. I 
can raise that a lot. So let's get traps to 30. Let's get hacking to 30. Let's get lock picking to 35. Let's get evasion to 25. Lodge to 25. Guns to 25. What about crossbows and melee? Help you overcome your target's dodge rating. Let's take that to five and put the rest in guns. Did we get a feat this round? Yes, we get a feat. Mental subversion. Each offense of mind affecting each offense of mind affecting psi ability you land on the target reduces its resolve by a small percentage but can ultimately stack up to 75%. Neural Overlord of Frightened, Thought Control 30, and Wolf 6 are the requirements. 6 shell. Each shotgun shot will grant 10% bonus damage to shotgun attacks. Expanded psi capacitance. Psi reserves increased by 30%. Cerebral Trauma. Increases the base damage of your Neural Overload Psi ability by 20%. Also, whenever it lands, it reduces target Psi point reserves by 10% of their maximum Psi points. The rest are ones that we've... Let's see. Sprint seems useful. You can activate the Sprint ability, which grants you 30 additional movement points for two turns. The effective one, not still. Sprint means we could pretty much sprint away to a good place to lay traps, and then lay traps for a few turns. So we're going to sprint. That looks like a good level up, and we've got the two points. Good. It's empty. Yeah, we're moving pretty slow here. Blueprint shock ball, that's worth money. We're gonna have to put some stuff in the desk. Credits have no weight. Weight 0.30, 1.25, 0.60. Shirt and pants, weight 200, value 50, no one's going to buy that. 180 out of 140. Fabric scraps, no one seems to want, but the weight is not that high. Weight's not that high for the cases. Electronic scraps, it's just a pound for 29 of them. We could find someone who... Curved machete blade mold, you'd think that would be worth something, but it's four pounds. Coal. Your campfires. I'm gonna get rid of the coal. Bottles don't weigh much. Bolt trigger doesn't weigh much. Rubber soles don't weigh much. Bradhound leather weighs a lot, but we can sell that. Mine shrooms. Handle. Cybutyl care bases weigh a lot. Reinforced fabric ballistic panel component. It's probably like worth something, but I'm just gonna drop it. I think the salivariums could be worth some of the EMP mine cases, we'll just get rid of. Gasoline. Now mostly used in creating makeshift incendiary weapons. Huh, I can make like Molotov cocktails out of that. Weight 12, medium shotgun pellet molds. Small shotgun pellet molds. That's gonna take us down to 146 out of 140. Draw 
about two and a half pounds of lake mushrooms. Gas mask is put on, I guess. Wait, what does it do? Perception decreased by two. No, thank you. We'll keep it in the preserves for sure. Hopper is 30 pounds. Got our mines. Does our gun need to be repaired? Ooh, its durability is pretty rotten. Can we use that on our gun? 203 out of 240, that's good. What about patching our armor? Oh, our armor's pretty good. Don't really need the hopper traps. Steel gloves, we couldn't sell them. So we'll just drop them. We didn't put them in the desk. So we're pretty well sorted now. Cool. Quick save. We've got a pretty good character going, I think. I don't know. You guys tell me. Do you think he, uh, Cyrus is pretty wicked cool? I do. I'm probably a little bit biased. <laughs> Still haven't decided to get stealth. Um could happen eventually. Ox. Newton! Let me check this box first. Flare. Um, quick save before talking to Newton. A terrified man leaps out of the dark corner and begins slashing the air in front of him. His shirt and pants are stained with blood and you see a piece of cloth tied around his thigh which a large wound grins at you. An instant passes, and the man retracts his knife and stares at you. A sigh of relief precedes his words. Ah, you're not a cybug. Thank go goodness. I almost had a heart attack. Are you Newton? Big Brett sent me out to look for you. You've been out of Southgate Station for a while now. Yes, yes, I'm Newton. Don't even mention Big, big Brett to me. He sent me to catch those stupid hoppers. I guess I went too far to the west and ran into the cybugs. He never told me about them. Why didn't you run away? I did. I started running around. Hey, the bugs surrounded me. I ended up in this place. Clenches his teeth in pain. Ah! And I cut my leg somewhere along the way. I stopped the stupid bleeding, but I can barely walk. Why the hell are we still talking? Can you get rid of all those damn bugs so I can safely get out of here? I can't run, and I most certainly can't fight. They're all dead. Let's get you out of here. Great, great! I want to get the hell out of here as soon as possible! He rushes past you, dragging his injured leg behind him. Wait for him to limp away. We did kill all of them, right? Oh, what's this? exit of the back way. Well, I didn't kill those if they're back there. Shouldn't be a problem. Rubble. Try the bite fossil. Love the oddity system. Really glad that I chose it. Young Ezra Day Corpse. Another carapace. It's gonna look, encumber me a bit. Mine shroom. 
But we'll be sure to try to sell everything we're carrying. That's for sure. Um, I need to reload my gun. It's 44 amber is no joke. Gotta keep it in good working condition. Alright, so I guess Newton made it back. We're gonna go back now. And it's still encumbered. for the slowness, but I don't really want to drop anything, because we're all carrying valuable stuff, and uh, it's just heavy stuff. You see Newton come by? Greet you with a knock. Fires. I guarded her. I think if you're actually watching this video by now, you've watched all the Underrail episodes, assuming you have, you don't mind about the slow walking speed. You're not here for a race, you're here just to chill, have fun with me. Uh, I'm definitely not in a race to the end, I think it's all about the journey, not really the destination. I just want to experience everything along the way, all this cool stuff. Now coming back here, I can't guarantee that there were no enemies not left. It's like the junkyard there. I guess that's the way we kind of go. train, thought control, um, both of those abilities if I can. Some of the side beetle carapaces. them. Let's see if uh, old old Logan does or old Jonas. What's Jonas looking for? Lock picking devices. Possibly take a side beetle carapace. No. We're 29 though. Okay. It's worth a shot. I'm surprised Newton didn't want me to give him my cave hoppers. So he could be on good terms with, uh, Big Brett. Not sure where that goes again. Economy? see Newton somewhere around here. I know he didn't die.
what can I do for you? Got your hoppers. Excellent work. Here's your payment. So would you like to name them? Sure. What's it gonna be? Huey, Dewey, and Louie. So be it. Oh, what about Newton? He ran into side beetles and was forced to hide in an abandoned warehouse just west of a mushroom cove. He cut his leg a bit, but he'll survive. In fact, Pascal should be patching him up right now. I told him to be careful not to wander off too far. Well, I'm glad he's alright, and thank you for helping him. That is all That is all as far as I'm concerned. You can go back to Tanner. 100 credits. I can move now. Newton's at Pascal. Let's go see... What we can do with Quinn. Three raw leathers, so here's some rat hound leather. Those are really a load off. Insectoid salivarium. You don't want those? Huh. You take the hearts? He says he wants one organ, so let's see if I split these to four to one, if he accepts that. He does. Three raw leathers, one organ, four medicines. I don't have medicines, but I can give you side beetle carapaces. Oh, you don't want them? Mind shrooms. This giant glowing mushroom contains powerful sonic catalysts which can be used to create psi enhancing concoctions. You want those? No? Alright, 58 credits it is. Cool. We're, li we're pretty light again. Ooh, there's no security camera out here. Lock 55. Go check on Newman. How's Newton doing? He'll be alright. He wasn't seriously wounded. It'll heal quickly. But he's been under a lot of stress, so we'll keep him here for a while. Give him a chance to get some rest. Poor kid. All in all, he'll be fine. Is there anything else you wanted to ask me? Five medical clones, five chemicals, three medicines. Do you have a gas grenade? Sign in, let's not boost his health high bone. Can't give you these the carapaces. for the poor mouse usage. Hmm. You won't buy the bottles, right? Alright. Where's Newton? Oh, probably back here. Falling rock smashed it by uh there that. There's Newton. Smiling face greets you. Cyrus, thank you very much for saving my life. I owe you for that one. I just came here to tell you a wussy. I just came over to check how you were doing, and be careful next time you go chasing hoppers. Bye. I'm fine at the moment. The leg kinda still hurts, but like it's getting better. As far as hunting those stupid hoppers, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. See you around, Cyrus. Hacking. The 
be held by the side beetle carapaces. And also teach me my stuff. Three electronic parts. Okay, you'll buy electronic parts. No, you won't buy scraps. Three Sonic components, two headgear components, three pairs of guns, one blueprint. Always looking to buy batteries. But you'll buy a blueprint? Did we sell it already? Shock bolt? 60? Nice. Sure. I have 623, so let's quick save here and see about these psi abilities. Break their minds. All oh, their requires 45. Or learn how to scare others. Very well. This will cost you 100 credits. Agreed. Here you go. Let us begin then. So I build a game. Frightened. Now let's take stuff out of there. Open this up. Right, in thought control. Project terrifying images into the target's mind and attempt to cause the panic for up to four turns. Cool. I don't even know why I use stealth mode, really. Oh, I do have stealth because of my equipment and stuff, so let's put stealth here. Dog crate. Let's put lock picks here and the hacks are here. And we're good to go. So I've got I gotta buy some more ammo and sell some stuff there. Um Is there anyone up here that would buy stuff? Harold? Oh get out of stealth mode, bro. What's up, Jim? What you got? Three repair kits, six metal components, four molds. Oh, he'll buy molds. And armor parts. You buy these too? Cool. I got him for you. Ninety-nine. You won't buy that one. Okay, you'll buy molds. So here's a frag grenade case. Buy soft foam padding and a knife mold. We're hitting the jackpot here. Bolt of cloth. Don't I have a bolt of cloth? I thought I had a bolt of cloth. Okay, he won't buy the fabric scraps. I swore I had a bolt of claw. There it is, black claw. We'll go buy that. Armor parts. I get from you, throwing knives, sledgehammers, or do you very good? Recycle item. Detailed instructions on how to create all types of combat knives. That could be pretty useful. That's worth 50 credits. I will buy that. Omni tool. Open the ventilation shaft. This will require a certain level of lock picking skill depending on the targeted ventilation shaft. Close the ventilation shaft. Probably should get two of those. Oh, those are 50 of these too. So 
and stand in the kennel towards hatching kid. Alright, let's trade. Cool, cool, cool. So if I go to crafting, combat knife, metal mold, handle, energy core, power module. Huh. Combat knives can be crafted out of any metal and come in a number of different shapes depending on the mold used. They are quick and deadly close quarters weapons against unarmored or unsuspecting targets. That's pretty cool. Alright, so I'm going to save, because I've got some real world things to do again, and uh, I will catch you next time. Thank you for watching. Much love, peace, joy, and light to you. I uh, appreciate your viewership. I will see you next time. So long, everybody.